All right, welcome to 4730 East Craig Road, unit 1068. This is a first floor unit. You can see it's where it's at in the community. It's actually pretty far back in the community, so a little farther from the main road of Craig. You can see you've got covered parking up front here. Some guest parking here too. Looks like about, you know, just one spot in the front here. But you got a few spots over there and a few spots there. I'm assuming one of these spots right here is gonna be your assigned covered spot. You can see from the front here, this is gonna be the outdoor uh, patio area. There is a condenser unit here, but um, it looks like it's, I'm not even certain it's attached or anything. It looks like it's kind of lifted up there. Uh, and I don't know what unit that goes to, if it's the downstairs or upstairs unit. But you can see there's a, you know, a good amount of space here. You can put a three, three person table here comfortably. Sliding door there. So we'll take you in. You can kind of just see the front of the unit too here where it's kind of situated. All right, taking you in. This unit does have a security door on the front. So you have that and then your main door. So we do have all new uh, vinyl plank flooring throughout the house. Or it could be laminate. Uh, it doesn't say in, oh, it, does, no, it just says new flooring throughout. I don't know if it's laminate or vinyl plank. Um, either way, it is all new throughout the house. You can see there's a sliding glass door. When you come in off to the left, immediately is gonna be your coat closet. So, pretty standard size, size coat closet. You do have the gas fireplace there in the corner. And then there's gonna be right there, is gonna be your hookup for your TV and stuff with the coax cable. There's no light in the great room here or the living area. But you do have a light over the dining area here, as well as a fluorescent tube lighting in the kitchen. So you've got laminate countertops, gas stove, uh, vented, just not vented to the outside or anything, just a vent over there that filters it. You do have a small little pantry space here. So convenient, right? For and very deep, deep cabinets for all of your groceries and whatnot. The cabinets are definitely older. They've been painted. You can tell if you look closely. Probably I don't know if you can actually make that out on the uh, video, but they've just been painted over. So they are probably just standard oak cabinets that have been painted white. So, let's just read the listing here real quick. Okay, so this does say all the appliances are sold as is. So you can see the washer, dishwasher is a little bit dated. And you can see, you know, it's just an older white stove. Let's see if it, well, it does turn on. So the stove does work, or at least the uh, cooktop burners work. We know that. There is no built-in microwave, so you'd have to get a countertop microwave or else uh, put one above the stove there. All right. This is a decent sized dining area. You can put a four person uh, table in there comfortably and still be able to maneuver around it to get into the kitchen and whatnot. Off to the side here, you've got the side-by-side -side washer dryer. Then you've got the one guest bathroom. Okay, so the light and the fan come on with the same switch. I don't know what the other switch does. Turning that off didn't do anything. Again, you've got uh, laminate countertops, mirror, medicine cabinet, and, sorry, shower tub combo. Couple little built-ins there for soap and, uh, 
shampoo and everything like that. A little towel rack right there. So you can see that flooring continues even into the bathroom. Outside of that, you've got the one guest bedroom. There's no light in here. I can actually open these blinds just a little bit to give you some light. There we go. Standard size room with a reach in closet. There is a switch, so that would go to your half hot outlet right there. So we put a little lamp on that and then the switch will operate that, turn it off and on. Coming out so you can kind of see just a wider view of everything. Come in over there to the left, right there. You've got All right, and then right over here is going to be the master suite. You do have a fairly large walk-in closet on this one. There's no built-ins, but it's pretty easy to add in some shelving or whatever. And then the master bedroom itself. It's a good size, just, you know, maybe a foot or two longer and wider than a standard bedroom does have a fan, a ceiling fan and light. And then you've got a linen closet here. So this would be the only linen closet in the unit, technically, right here in the master. And then the master bathroom is fairly similar to the other bathroom. We've got a shower tub combo. It's actually identical to the other shower tub combo with the built-ins and everything like that inside there. Single sink vanity, medicine cabinet, and toilet. And again, that flooring continues throughout. So there's not a single bit of carpet in this whole unit, even in the walk-in closets and the linen, they've all got the laminate flooring throughout. Fairly quiet. I did hear a little bit of footsteps upstairs briefly, but um, you know, I guess that just depends on who's up there and what's happening. So kind of a shorter tour. There's not really a whole lot to see. It's pretty standard. Two bedroom, two bath, a little over 900 square feet. Um, and yeah, but overall really um, well-kept unit. It seems like, you know, they've got a up, more up-to-date AC thing there too from NV Energy. Can't tell if the AC is on or not. It's the kind of this thing. Sorry, I should be looking at that. I was trying to play with that, but I don't see any numbers coming up on it. So um, it feels a little cooler in here, but it's not cold. It's a little warm still. Um, but anyways, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.